Hello, dear students. Now let's continue with the, our next video based on passive voice. So here we go. So in my last video, I had covered a uh, simple present tense and its types. So sorry, present tense and its type. So we, uh, there are three tenses available for the conversion uh, in passive voice. So that is simple present, present continuous and present perfect. Now same is the case with the past tense. So we have got another three elements available or three types available to, uh, to be converted into passive voice. They are just similar to the simple present. That is, we will be covering Simple past, past continuous, and past perfect. So let's move quickly. Okay. So here we have simple past. Okay. And then we have the active voice. Quickly, we will cover that. So uh, students uh, recorded the scene. Okay. Now it shows that subject plus verb second form plus object is what active voice of uh, simple past tense takes. And once we convert it into the passive voice, it will be changed to the object is given the main importance. So the scene was recorded by the students. Okay. And this further brought us down to the formula that is object, okay, object plus a was verb. Unlike a uh, simple present tense, which has uh, is MR as the helping verb, past tense has was verb, and the rest will remain same that is verb third form plus by plus the subject, okay, and then. Uh, we will move towards past continuous following the same pattern as we did in the uh, present continuous. So students are recording the scene, okay, which makes it subject plus was were, so V form plus V1 and ING plus the object which pushes it to change into passive voice and bringing out the answer the scene is being recorded by the students and that goes for object plus B, that is was verb, being plus verbs third form plus by plus the subject. Last past perfect, students had recorded the scene. So it will be subject plus had plus v3 plus the object which pushes it to turn into passive as the scene had been recorded by the students so uh, in present perfect there was has and have but in past there will only be had so there is no uh, you know change with the subject so we will keep object plus had been okay in order to support verbs third form plus the plus by plus the subject so that's past perfect i guess we have quite quickly rushed through the the simple past and now we are left with only two tenses because i mentioned in the beginning only that there are eight tenses which can be converted into passive voice so now the other two which are left are future simple 
and uh, I should write the helping verb also here. So was were are the helping verb for simple past and for uh, simple future it is will okay will be so simple future sentences are like i i will drop your bag okay then it will be like subject plus will plus v1 plus object the passive turns out to be your bag will be dropped by me so sub uh, we have put given more importance to the object so object plus will be plus verbs third form plus by and plus subject so we are towards the end the next one is uh, not the future continuous but it is future perfect which gets converted into the passive so I will okay, make it this way. So by the time I arrive at the station, the train will have left. So this is a little complicated. I'm just giving the conversion part of it. The station will have been left by the train. I'll give you the easier version also. Uh, he will have finished his work. Changes to his work will have been finished by him. Okay, so we have added a been element to it as we always do in perfect tense, and will is already there. So these are the complete set of passives. Hope you have understood. So I'll come up with my other uh, videos on passive voice soon. Thank you so much for watching.